We're gonna go ahead and talk about this idea of surface tension. So surface tension uh, is this idea where a liquid particles sitting across the surface are attracted to each other, restricting something from going through that surface. So it has a tension that it would have sitting on the surface. We wanna talk about what are the factors that contribute to this. So in order for us to do that, we're gonna look at three different particles in three different places of a, uh, of a liquid. So one of them is a gas particle, one of them is a particle sitting at the surface, and one of them sitting in the bulk, so surrounded by a bunch of other particles. So what we wanna do is we wanna look at what's the difference between each of these with respect to energy. So we look at a gas particle, this gas particle has no attractions, nothing around it, and it's just sitting there as it is. Well, if we were to think about this gas particle to come and sit in this place where molecule number two is, when it comes and sits there, what it did is it formed some attractions. It formed the attractions between the molecules around it. So in this case, we would see that particle two has four attractions. Well, if we go back to this idea of attractions and how that relates to potential energy, we'll see that for particle two, it has four attractions that are formed. Okay, well every single attraction is gonna have some amount of decrease in potential energy. So we could think of as a fourfold drop in potential energy, and we can think about that as one for each attraction that is formed. So it has four attractions as, as our diagram is showing here. Well, as we decrease in potential energy from these attractions, that will let us know, okay, molecule two has a lower potential energy than our gas molecule here, okay? So this has a high potential energy because it has no attractions. This is a lower potential energy. And then let's think about that with respect to particle number one. Well, particle number one not only has these four attractions that it has like particle two, but it also has these other two. And so we see with particle two, particle one, or molecule one, it has six attractions as we've diagrammed here. And so that would mean that it has a six-fold drop in potential energy relative to our gas particle. So particle two, the molecule two, has lower potential energy than our gas particle. Our third molecule here, molecule one, we're gonna see has the lowest potential energy. Now why in the world do we care about potential energy? We think about potential energy because we know substances uh, atoms, molecules, want to go from high potential energy to low potential energy. They want to decrease their potential energy. So every single molecule at the surface wants to be in the bulk. It wants to be in the place of number one. We can't. We have to have some on the surface. So in order to account for this, what happens is that these molecules sitting at the surface get closer to each other and they, they try and form stronger attractions. So what they do is they get close, 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 really close to each other and what that does is that pulls in these particles here. In addition to that, we're minimizing the number of par or particles on the surface and maximizing the number uh, in the bulk. What that does is that decreases the total potential energy of our system, okay? So it's the minimization of the number of surface particles, maximizing the number of lowest potential energy particles in the bulk, that's one way of thinking about what surface tension is, which is why if we look at, for example, a drop of water, if we have it sitting on a surface, it looks like this. It wants to minimize its surface area. Whereas if we were to look at something like hexane, and we were to put a drop of hexane inside of, or on top of a, of a, uh, a surface, Right, we have gravity pulling down on it. What we'll see is that there is a very small amount of curvature there because hexane is not gonna have a really strong attraction between the molecules, meaning the difference in potential energy between this molecule and this molecule is not really that big. Whereas water has really, really strong intermolecular force attractions. The difference in potential energy between molecule two and molecule one is pretty big. This difference of these two attractions causes a big difference in potential energy. So it tries to form this shape, right? If it could, it would form a sphere that minimizes the number of particles sitting on the surface and maximizing those sit sitting in the bulk. And as that happens, 
these particles on the surface are really, 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 really attracted to each other. And because of that, it gives us a high surface tension. So you could actually go ahead and take a paper clip and put it on top of this water particle, if it's a small paper clip, and it will sit on there because of the attractions between these particles sitting here on the surface, causing a surface tension to occur. So if we go back and we, re and we refresh here and we see that surface tension, what we'll see here is caused by a difference in potential energy between our bulk and our uh, surface molecules. And what that does is that our liquid will want to minimize its surface area as much as it can. And as it does that, the surface molecules are going to get closer. As they try and pull closer to each other, what that does is that creates tension on the surface, which is why we can see that like little uh, water skirting bugs can walk on water, or if you take like a razor blade or uh, a paper clip, you can actually let it settle on water. We wouldn't be able to see the same thing with hexane because hexane does not have really strong attractions. So the factors that mainly affect our surface tension, because it's all about this difference in potential energy, are intermolecular forces. Okay, so if we have stronger intermolecular forces, that's going to lead to a higher surface tension. And that's because there's going to be this big difference in potential energy, so they're going to want to get as many sitting in the bulk, as few on the surface, and causing them to really pull together on the surface, creating this high surface tension. So we see this factor, this differentiates a lot from other, some of the other physical properties we talked about because we're not really focusing on size. We see it mostly has to do with the difference in potential energy, which is caused by a difference in intermolecular force strength, the attractions present between these different molecules.